Logan. Logan. All right, here we go. Now I got around. Saginaw Bay. All right, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm just glad to be here because it got really nail-biting in the last uh, last round of qualifying rounds. As you can tell in the video, um, where I'm going smallmouth fishing today, I mean, we're rolling the dice. Do you play blackjack much? Yeah. Do you? I got Logan right here. He's my official today. He's going to ride with us. He's either going down with the ship or he, we're we're. Y'all know what I mean. Yeah, and if he messes up, you better be sure I'm gonna get after him. Well, him. no, here's the thing. You see, you didn't know this. You know them big tanker ships? Have you seen them? Oh, yeah. The big tanker yeah. ships that are like giant, they're like 200 feet long? I don't know, 200 yards long, 200 yards long. If we don't catch them. Oh, no. We're running this trike 73 into the side. Okay. You go down for that? Uh, I'm talking about just smashing this. You going like straight in? I'm going to run this summer going dead into the side. All right, well, I'm going to get wet then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to reel some in today. Hopefully, um, I'm going to start out largemouth fishing and then we're going to go smallmouth fishing. So we have nothing uh, nothing to lose in this deal. We have red crest, or we're already locked in. And I think that we're in heavy hitters. I don't know. But I would love a four and a half pounder today to just go ahead and solidify that too. So it's just a great day to to go and, and try to catch a big bag. That's all we're looking after, looking for. And that's the last day of the season if we don't. All right, y'all, this is a knockout round here at Saginaw Bay. And I've got a, kind of, a, I guess you would say, childhood hero right here. He does not <laughs> know that. But uh, today is potentially the last regular season day that I, that I might be fishing. I got a feeling he's going to make top 10. But uh, I don't know, man. This is kind of crazy deal. It I'm, is. It's uh, pretty dang weird for me too, man. I yeah. Just, but you'll see me a couple times next year. I got me a, right. got a heavy hitters bid in Redcrest, so we'll definitely. Yeah, he'd be at Lay Lake. Oh gosh, <laughs> he's got some good history at Lay Lake. Kevin don't know this, but I was one of the guys on Beeswax Bridge watching him win the classic there. <laughs> I was sitting on the bridge watching him, so, so that's, that's we pretty can count cool. that spot out. Probably, you think? Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty, it, yeah. There's people in there still hitting all that. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, today uh, we're, we got to catch them at uh, Saginaw Bay. So y'all stay tuned. Knock out round. Boom. I will knock the out of that. Good Lord. Ah. A drum on a chatterbait. Are you kidding me? A drum on a chatterbait? <laughs> Ain't that That's what you get for getting out outside that grass. You just gotta go grass fishing on this place. <laughs> huh. I thought that was gonna be a good small mile. Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. God. 
I do not really feel like going frogging and flipping. If I found one smallmouth hole that had them, I have a chance to win the tournament. I don't. I don't have a chance to win with him largemouth, I just don't think. You find one hole that's got them like Kevin found, and it's game on. You know what I mean? And I know he's catching smallmouth. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my gut. My gut's telling me to go do this deal. God, it's hard to believe there ain't no small mouth or large mouth out here on this ridge. You know what I'm saying? Cut the mighty. This is the toughest small mouth fishery I've ever been on in my life, ever. Point blank period. We're about to just go damn head fishing and call it good. Man, I, I you sit out here for seven, eight hours and zero. I'm not playing. It sucks. Well, I'll say this. I have largemouth fish down the way the whole damn tournament, and I ain't caught no biggins. So us trying some new stuff <clears throat> ain't necessarily going to hurt nothing. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to go down there and get a large mouth fish this whole damn tournament. We're gonna finish about 14th. 100%. I already knew whenever I launched the boat today, you're gonna have to do that. This up here is just train wreck. You can't get nowhere. It's too damn windy. It's trash. It's trash. You just ain't gonna catch that many big large mouth. And I don't even know why the hell I'm doing this. I think I just kind of wanted to see if they, I could get lucky and catch a couple like three pounders or something. And then go from there, but. How long do I have left? An hour and 10 minutes. Okay. I figured this was gonna be like this. You try to go practice, you don't catch nothing. We might as well just go catch 14 pounds of large mouth and 13 pounds and get about 12th place or whatever and be done. 15th place, 20th. Probably best best option. Damn, there's a bass. A little baby. He ain't even gonna keep. God to mightiest place. Go try some new water and it sucks. I love it. Man, I love it. I love trying new water and it absolutely sucks. Yeah, we'll just go large enough fishing. Screw it. We're going head fishing. Screw these smallmouth. You can't find them. It's, it's impossible. We'll just go large my fishing screw it. We're about to go get in some areas and just hope we get some good bites. We'll catch us about 12 and a half pounds and finish about 20th and we'll be going home. Sounds good, don't it? We're gonna go back head fishing and lose. <laughs> oh, I tried to find trying to find some smallmouth out there on some ridges and stuff. Never had a bite. Caught two pair heads, small, uh, large mouth, and a big drum. Yeah. Highlight of the day. 
when I tell you lost L O S T on these smallmouth. I ain't got a clue in America how to catch one. You hear me? Not a clue, brother. I ain't got a clue, though. Have no idea where to go. Neither do I. No idea where to go catch one. Like, it's like, wow. It's almost like they're non existent. They don't even live. They all died. <laughs> So let's go head fishing. <laughs> so we'll go head fishing. Three pounds, one up. So let's go head fishing. You wanna go, Logan? <laughs> That's what's up. Two six ounces. Two six. Let's go head fishing, huh? Oh, I just had a bite. He got it. That'll keep, won't it? Damn. God almighty. I hate fishing. <laughs> A five pounder for my boy. There's a bunch of them right there here. Bunch of them through here. That's three flips in a row down there. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Two and 11.
Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna go or not. We'll just try him. Can you take him off uh, real quick? Okay, go ahead. One pound eight ounces, not a problem. Dumped it as soon as it went in, big dog. My God. Three pounds, one ounce. Three pounder. Man, we're about to go. I'm about to just say screw it and go smallmouth fishing. I just ain't. I mean, I can't sit here and catch these all day. If I come across one or two small smallmouth, they might be big. That's all we're catching. I see it, son. I can't catch a big large mouth. I may regret this, but we're going. That's the only way I know how to win. If I can just get two bites out here, we'll be okay. That's the end of the second period. Oh, these smallmouth kicking my butt. <sighs> Went did exactly what we said we was gonna do. Catch 13 pounds. Huh? You said it. Well, let's go catch 13 pounds and finish 22nd. We're in 22nd! <laughs> I'm just thinking, dude, if I don't care where I catch it, but if I caught one big smallmouth, I'd be in the cut. Or 12. That's what I need. One big smallmouth. I mean, I just don't think I can catch a 412 largemouth. Mm -mm. I can't. Do with the uh, don't take a bite out of your sandwich thing. Do what? So, why was I told to not take a bite out of your sandwich? Because I did that on St. Clair. Good. You don't buy it? Oh, no, that's all right. You I got my it. PB and J left. I got you can buy it in the corner one. if you want it. I tried. Oh, you gonna get a bite of my sandwich? <laughs> you mean one more here? Hit my other sandwich, dude. That's what's up. Yeah, I gave I gave a bite to my official, and they were like, "You can't be doing that." I'm like, "Man, let him get a bite of this sandwich." <laughs> we gotta get on a big bag. 
if I stay down there in largemouth fish and catch 14 pounds and finish 20th, you know, if I go out here and don't get a bite, you know, you know. <laughs> Damn, a small mile. Holy crap. Baby boy. I cannot believe that I caught a small mouth. I caught a small mouth. Oh my gosh. I caught one. Is that not unbelievable? I caught a damn small mouth, dude. God to mighty. Quit, it, bud. Two pounds, zero ounces. See, the, the hang will help. I don't think so. Why couldn't he been about four and a half? Little stinking large mouth. Golly. I just need one to swim underneath my boat. Just one. You think there's a single small mouth in this whole mile and a half area? I would think. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe like one. Just go over here and throw it down. Ah, I can't even sit out here. It's so damn wavy. Go. Screw it. It's fun for largemouth. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go and, you know, not catch real big ones. And I think if the water was up, it'd be a lot better. There you go. Thank you. Well, we appreciate y'all supporting us and everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank y'all. Y'all want to get a picture or anything? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get a picture. All right, y'all. 
that wraps up the knockout round video. I got two <laughs> men in the house. <laughs> so we got Davey, dog. You like, hey, you about you like, sleep. You about I'm sleep. piled up, man. I'm sleeping. Guys, all right, all right, you so in hibernation got, already. Hey, two men. Y'all yeah, don't know what happened to Adrian. Adrian, uh, he had a little incident. Yeah, actually, man. it wasn't even an incident. It was actually a serious, was serious thing that man. went down. Yeah. Um, my guy had to go get like an emergency surgery. He's good now. He's in there sleeping. He's snoozing. Everything is good with him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank, thank the Lord. And uh, he's good. On another note, we got one angler in the house. I ain't gonna name no names, but y'all probably know who he is. He's the golden child. <laughs> <laughs> he's the golden boy. He is fishing for angler of the year for the third time. Now keep in mind, there's only one angler out there that's really did this shit back to back to back to back to back to back to back. To back. And his name is Kevin Van Dam. So, and now I ain't gonna lie to you, he, that guy's leading the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so, ain't that so, so I ain't gonna lie to you, he is still the GOAT. <laughs> so, but we have a little small <laughs> amateur little <laughs> guy baby over here, goat. a little tiny baby goat. A baby, baby tiny goat. premature so Jacob, in the world. Jacob is, is over here, he's competing for, tomorrow is a huge day of it his is. career. It's huge. He's yes. got to put every fish in the boat. Did you sharpen your hooks? I actually did. I actually was over there with a the old file. Put some galvanized right. hooks on for this one. Put galvanized hooks on for this one. Big All right. bars. All right, so uh, Jacob's fishing for AOI, and, and, and the, I ain't going to lie. This is a huge accomplishment. Oh, man. Um, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about Mark. No, I, that's what I was talking about, too. <laughs> that's what I was talking about, too. Even he, more. That's what I was talking about, Even more too. impressive. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. The, no, the, this is impressive three times, potentially oh, three times. That's but what's more impressive, impressive is Mark, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna speak on his season. He ain't gonna talk about it. He had a atrocity <laughs> go on. At, well, God. It, it was, what you call that? I don't even know what you call uh, that. Uh, he was asleep for about four tournaments. It literally, he, it, know, it, it yeah, more than that, low key. Five tournaments, I don't even know. He hey, had, he it had was bad terrible, gear. bro. I could not do, I couldn't, <clears throat> it was, it was compounded. It, I couldn't do nothing right. 100%. I was having bad breaks, breaking yep. fish off, losing fish. Yep. Um, Poor decision making and poor execution, which led to last, damn near last place finishes in about three derbs. It was tough. You can't do tough. that. So so Mark came back, and, and y'all will see Mark, Mark Daniels Jr. Yes, sir. Next year at Lay Lake in Alabama I'll at be, the Red Crest. I couldn't yeah. let y'all boys fish without me, Brad. 100%. And all three of y'all. I couldn't beat your ass without you there. No, you I got need to, you there. You need me there, Spanky. <laughs> <laughs> you need me there, bro. Uh, hey, hey, somebody got to cheer you on. Somebody got to beat some ass. So nice. anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking forward to whooping up on Jacob in that one. I can't wait for these boys to really, really show up to Lay Lake because it's going to be kind of surreal, you know. I'm going to see all these guys. And now keep in mind, um, that Red Crest tournament is our championship. Okay, and that's very important. There was a lot of qualifications on the line this week, and Mark prevailed. He's in the top ten. Yeah, man. So it's a big you day for these 77th? guys. Seventy seventh. Seventy seventh to wherever I land. I don't know. To like in the in the cut. I land. That that is uh, after three tournaments. That's very almost, impressive. Almost halfway, halfway through the season. season. Almost halfway through the season. Yeah, man. It's. Are you in heavy hitters? <clears throat> no. That's Did not make heavy hitters. That's fine. Although I put a nice one on the scales this week thus far. Still got one more day, but. Nice little faux yonder, faux faux five. It, that, that, that's really inspirational, though, man. I yeah, really like, it, uh, even even to myself, bro. Like, you know, you you never really know what you got in you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you said you said, oh, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna figure it out. Man, and coming know. off of uh, that one season, you missed by three points. Yeah, I miss I missed Rare Chris one year. That year, me and you got COVID. Yep. At Grand. Yeah. <clears throat> when y'all went to Grand, I missed that by three points. God to mighty. Three points. And I had the fish hooked up that year, that last tournament, to make it. And yeah. now St. you Clair. in this thing. St. Clair. And, they, and they came off. Crank. Damn. I so I finished today, uh, I don't even know. I think I finished 29th. I went small fishing early 
And then I went largemouth fishing in the second period, caught me about 13 and a half pounds, and I went back smallmouth fishing like a big dummy. And uh, yeah, what do they call that? Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. So it is what it is. Um, but this is going to wrap up the video. Y'all like, subscribe. We appreciate y'all tuning in. And this is at the shores of Saginaw Bay. The next video you'll see is I have no clue. Hopefully it's me on Instagram <laughs> saying, hella congrats to my oh, boy over here. We shall see. Facts. So uh, y'all follow my boys. We appreciate y'all. And uh, until next time, we out. See y'all. Peace.